And now, for all of you, a special surprise that recapitulates the life of a man beloved by all, a life told in chapters by some special friends. From Tabriz, Iran, to New York City, a poor boy yearning for knowledge, a wandering Armenian who ended up on the society pages of the New York Times. This is the life that has been my privilege to lead. Now, as I sit in my office under a portrait of Andrew Carnegie, I am given to reflecting on the long voyage that brought me here. In Lebanon, my first mentor, Simon Varatsian, the last prime minister of the short-lived first Republic of Armenia, was a surrogate father, teacher, and benevolent benefactor. He became very fond of my wife, Claire, admiring her courage, tenacity, and independence. Many mentors, friends, and strangers have helped and guided me along the way, as well, of course, as my wife and children. I had a great empathy for Carnegie and detected some similarities in our backgrounds. We were both boys from poor families. We both knew in our hearts, in our bones, that education would save us and direct us, that, in fact, education is the key to a better life for everyone, no matter who they are or where they are born. I certainly was proud and felt the triumphant that the boy from Tabriz, who was too poor to own his own volumes and was even unable to borrow and rent books, ended up lending millions of books to the people of New York. A book to me is still one of the most extraordinary creation of man because it is a gift of knowledge. A book contains dreams, ideas, and ideals. It contains notion about reality and utopia, about revolutions and clue about life and freedom and happiness. To construct and cherish a library is to invest not only in ourselves, but in future generations. A library is a legacy. A library is a mirror to the past and a window to the future. Knowledge about the world, both its tangible qualities and its ephemeral mysteries, and about each other, our glories and our follies, is the only way to narrow the great gulfs that divide us. As a young boy in Tabriz, I had read about the terrible devastations wrought by the Great War, including the deportations, atrocities, and genocides perpetrated against the civilian populations. One thing is clear. Peace will be rooted in understanding how the differences between us, between states, between peoples and nations cause conflict. And in finding ways to manage those differences instead of letting them explode into hostilities. Andrew Carnegie himself said that he wanted the philanthropies he had begun to do real and permanent good in this world. I had no money, so I've learned through Carnegie's legacy what is possible to do with money. Give it away. In much the same way I had learned earlier how a boy who had no books could grow up to be a man dedicated to using the resources of many to provide books for millions. And now, with great emotion from all of us, I want to invite our cherished friend and mentor, Vartan Gregorian, to the stage.